Hey guys, Zephyr here, and as promised, I'm here with the chopper style motorcycle. This is the second bike that I'm making for Ghost Rider, and this is the bike that won the vote. But I had to put it on the back burner because of some difficulties when it came to actually making this. Now, this bike is designed by EdSep7, so if you're interested in making one of these bikes for yourself, I will be linking it down in the description. It is available for completely free on Thingiverse. So, i first like to address some of the reasons why it took me so long to make this bike over the other one, and it's mainly due to the fact that I quickly realized making this bike that it wasn't really made for FDM printers, and it's supposed to be printed on resin, which I do not have. I only have an FDM printer, so I had to make do. The second reason is because I had to play around with the scale of this bike as it wasn't really made for what I wanted to do with it. It wasn't really intended to be used as action figures. It's more of just your average model motorcycle. So I had to do a lot of research. I had to do a lot of digging around and find the scale that works so that way I can pair it with my Ghost Rider action figure. Funny enough, within that research, I found a couple of articles saying that 112 scale is perfect for your 6-inch action figures, and it was within me, like, on the verge of giving up on this bike that I found the other one, hence why I wanted to make it first, because it is properly scaled to 112. But you guys really wanted this bike. It is the one that won the vote. It wouldn't have been fair if I just outright quit. And I'm so glad I didn't because this looks infinitely better than the first one and I'm so happy that I saw it through. Now I really want to say that this was inspired by the real Hell Cycle from the Ghost Rider movies from back in the day. Which, awesome, because this is my favorite Hell Cycle design of all time. And you could definitely see references and elements of it on this design. But anyway, that's enough stalling. Now it's time for me to show you the bike. Now while this is Ed's design, I did take some creative liberties. The main one, again, being the fact that I made the tires in bright orange because I wanted to make the distinction that the tires are made of fire rather than just being on fire. If you watch my original video, the first bike, I already made that distinction. I won't do it again, I promise. But I did also use a toothpick for the front axle, that is what holds the front wheel in place, and I was 50-50 on whether I should snip off the sides and excess toothpick, but the more I looked at it, it kind of looked like spikes that came out of the front forks, and it adds to the design, and I thought it looked cool, so I just painted that silver and I left it, and I'm happy I did, because it just adds to the bike and it looks badass. And I just really wanted to go over the top with this design. I added some paint to the engine itself to make it look like it's burning, like it's powered by lava or something. And I added red to the skulls, like where their eyes should be. Now, yes, I am very much aware that this is missing a buttload of parts as opposed to how it's supposed to be for Ed's design. And I did that on purpose because I wanted this to be an actual playable motorcycle, a functional motorcycle where the wheels roll and it has working steering, just like the first bike I made. So just know that some of that was intentional and some of it was just not wanting to print on my printer, as mentioned earlier, because I'm working with FDM and this design was meant for resin printing. So it just was not coming out as clean as it should. Speaking of functionality, I'm going to show you the functionality of the bike again without the figure on it as it weighs it down and it makes the kickstand scrape so it doesn't let the wheels roll as well. I'm also gonna show you all the stuff I used when making this bike. So pliers, tape, a sander, which you probably won't need if you are making this the proper way with resin, and of course, glue. But nevertheless, here are some close-up shots of the details that I really wanted to accentuate when making this bike. And here are some shots of the bike itself with and without the figure, and a shot of the two bikes together. They look amazing. And finally, one last shot of Ghost Rider approaching his brand new Hell Cycle. 
it looks so sick. One last thing I'd like to mention, other than the fact that I accidentally made half of the Midnight Suns team, is that if you're going to be making this bike for yourself, just know that it is a big boy and it is quite long. So if you're going to be displaying it, just keep that in mind. Now that we have both bikes complete, be sure to let me know which one's your favorite down in the comments. And while you're at it, be sure to like and subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. I promise that I make cool shit on this channel, and I will see you guys in the next one.